So oh, it is. Oh. oh. In the Rockies. Let's hit it. You've got the most displacement. I do. I've got the best gearing. Yes, you do. And Charles is. I'm, I'm just here. He's got soul. What's up, everybody? Today on Cars and Cameras, we're in the middle of the wilderness in the Rocky Mountains, almost running out of gas on three very different mini bikes. We brought bikes out here with Go Power Sports to compare a low range, mid range, and high end mini bike. And already a few miles into our travel, we're almost out of gas. So we're going to boogie for the trailer to pick up some gas, and then we're going to get moving on our comparison. So we're going to tell you a little bit more about the bikes on the road. Yes. All right, guys, I'm getting a head start because I'm in EV mode. Okay, dokie. All right. See y'all. Choke. Go Power Sports flew us out to the Rocky Mountains to test out some of the latest and greatest in mini biking technology. In this three way comparison, we'll do a drag race, a hill climb, and trail rides, all while sharing our thoughts along the way. Our base elevation is about 8,000 feet, so the fact that these bikes are running at all is impressive. Our budget bike, which is still a really nice bike by any means, is a Trailmaster MB200 with a few light modifications we'll touch on later. Our mid-range bike is a Trailmaster MB200 Hurricane, which none of us have ridden before. And our high-end bike is a highly modified Megamoto with 10-inch wheels, extended wheelbase, full suspension, and a built engine. And its performance speaks for itself. So the three bikes we're on are a Trailmaster MB200, lightly modified. Charles is on an MB200 Hurricane which is our mid-range bike. It's an upgraded version of the MB200 from the factory. And Ike is on the wild, it's really a race bike, full suspension, Megamoto. Yeah, uh, the, with the train that we've got out here, this thing is riding fantastic. So we have a couple activities planned for our comparison, like a drag race, a hill climb, but we can't do any of that until we get Ike some fuel. I can't believe you made it, dude. I know. How much gas you got in there? Probably a teaspoon. No. Remember how I said I had an eighth? Yeah. I still got it. Oh. Dude, I we were EV the whole way down the mountain. All I had to do was crank it up for the 100 feet. Whew. All right, so I am riding the Trailmaster Hurricane 200X. I really like how comfortable the suspension is on this thing, and I'm able to just kind of stand up like a dirt bike and just pop it up over some rocks on the road. It's a, it's a good bike. As it sits brand new, it's about 1500 bucks with the upgrades. And I'm just, it's, this is the Cadillac of the mini bikes. You can't get a dirt bike to do this for 1500 bucks. This Mega Moto is pretty sweet. Oh, you got the high end bike, man. Yeah, this is definitely the high end bike. Oh boy. With a small fuel tank. But that's okay. But uh, you know. It makes up for it. <laughs> yeah, it really does. With power. So oh, it is, oh, oh, boy. oh, Junior was like, don't get any gas on that hey, tank. He's, no, he said that if I did, <laughs> off, boom. So we are running into uh, the engine breaking up a little bit at high RPM. And this is a built Tillotson 212 engine. It's got a 22 mil carburetor on it. So we think we're just going to adjust the needle and um, it'll be running a lot better. But the bikes are certainly down on power up here. Yeah, we're, we're going to elevation. Lean it. We're going to yeah, lean it out a little bit because of the elevation. Uh, we have a little bit less oxygen here, which means it's run a, a bit on the rich side. So I'm hoping we'll be able to drop this needle. Hopefully it's not all the way dropped already. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we got, oh, I can drop goodness. it down. It's about in the mid range right now. So I'm going to be able to drop it two notches yeah i'd say go ahead and do two i'm two going notches. the full two yeah. notches dude because at least if it's not perfect we can go back up one there's an eclip right here 
A lot of people would call these Jesus clips. Oh, because when you lose it. Because when it pops loose, it goes somewhere in your like, Jesus. Yeah, no, the only person who knows it where it is is Jesus. Oh, that's another one. <laughs> another one right there, too. So we're going to drop this on down. We're going to the last notch. And I'm going to use this. Yeah. And what he's, what he's doing is he's actually getting the needle, the tapered part, lower yeah. into the carburetor, which is allowing less fuel to pull up from it's the It's basically ball. a blockage. Yep. Yeah. And it lets, let, it lets less fuel in. Ooh. Yep. So you're going to lean it out and get a, a more desirable air to fuel make sure for this altitude. I can actually lose this washer too. Oh. You know, the spring would probably do a great job pushing it down. So we're going to get Ike's bike fixed up, and then we're going to hit the trails again to do a hill climb and a drag race so we can compare the performance and the value and our overall thoughts of these mini bikes. Now, Ike is certainly on the high-end bike. It's like the prototype. There is The 10-inch wheels are awesome. They have them on order, but they're not yet available. It has the Megamoto full suspension kit. It has their high-end adjustable shocks. This bike is primo. And I'll link all the parts and the bikes that we're using today in the description of today's video. So if you want to check them out for yourself, you can. And of course, anytime you place an order with Go Power Sports, let them know in the order notes that Cars and Cameras sent you at checkout. Meanwhile, I'm on the budget option. This is the old trusty Trailmaster MB200. Now, it's not stock. It does have upgraded tires for this terrain. It has a stage one kit and it has a front brake just for safety. And honestly, the killer modification that might give the budget bike the leg up is the big sprocket. This thing can pull even at elevation, even uphill. So the drag race is going to be interesting. Let's find ourselves a spot to do a hill climb, boys. All right. Or maybe a drag race. In the Rockies. Let's hit it. Yeah. Give it the beans, Mike. Oh, he's just pulling away. Wow. Oh, it's still got some sputtering. Oh. I think it's better. Okay. Me and Charles, we only have the 196. And you can definitely tell a different in, difference in the displacement between a 196 and a 212. Right. Oh yeah. So Ike and I are running the uh, the new nitrogen filled like adjustable rear shocks and and I'll tell you what, I'm watching John go over the bumps and then I hit them and they, they're, they're a lot better. I, I mean, I've got to put these on some of my stuff. Well boys, yeah. time for the drag race. Uh -huh. You've got the most displacement. I do. I've got the best gearing. Yes you do. And Charles is... I'm, I'm just here. He's got soul. Yes. So we're going to give Charles the break, right? Okay. All right. Three, two, one. <laughs> All right. On your mark. Get yep. set, go. Woo! Oh, he got a good job. Oh, I'm pulling on him. Oh, yeah. I'm pulling. Oh, hey. man. Hey. Like with the moon tune. Yeah. I'm pulling on Charles. Oh, Woo! that's okay. Oh, boy. Bumpies. That was fun. Oh, rocking the road. That yeah. was good, man. That was good stuff. Oh, oh yeah. Think rock. Yeah, okay. You guys want to run it one more time? Sure. Sure. Charles will break. All right. Charles will break. Ready? Yep. Oh, man, I got a better start that time. Yeah, I did a burnout. <laughs> oh, and Ike is running us down. Oh, yeah. I'm bypassing the governor. Oh! <laughs> woo, woo. Big bumps. Yeah, I did one of those one-handed. That was scary. You are gone, man. You are. Yeah. Up. Oh, this is great. All right. Nice trail. Yeah, this is great. These tires are killer too. Yeah, well, we all three have like the best tires they offer. Yeah. Watch out for these rocks. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. Hey, Charles. Yes. Can we trade real quick? Yeah. I want to feel those shocks. Okay.
Thanks, man. Yep. I always wanted to ride a hurricane. Here we go. Oh, man. Yeah, the bigger stunt puller gear for this high altitude uphill is what you gotta have. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta say, this one is, this one probably has more top speed, but going up these hill at this elevation, yeah. you need the stunt puller. Yeah, I mean, it just goes to show, it doesn't matter how much power you got, it's gearing. So, drag race results. I think we just proved the difference between identical powered bikes and just a gearing change. I mean, the uh, the low bike has the taller gear and it actually pulled away in the drag race. So theoretically, it'll have a lower top speed, but out here in the mountains, I mean, just uh, a, a larger sprocket for more torque, more bottom end is just a universal upgrade. Right, guys? What do you think? I agree with that. Yeah, 100%. So we'll link the one that we're using in the description. Uh, as for Ike, he was just gone. He was just gone. Moon tune. <laughs> Moon tune. So we're going to finish things off with a hill climb that we need to find. But uh, I just got to say about the Megamoto, I mean, they turned the lowly Megamoto into just uh, a, a wolf in sheep's clothing. I mean, these things are a dime a dozen. A ton of our fans have them at our meets that we have. And the awesome thing about it is that you can start with a bone stock Megamoto and then you can upgrade to the, the rear swing arm. And then later on, you can upgrade to the big wheels and tires. You can do it piece by piece to eventually have something that will run circles around a stock Trailmaster. Um, it is expensive in the long run, but you can do it piece by piece and it can grow with your experience level. And just the amount of customization to all of these bikes is uh, is is pretty awesome. It's a, it's an awesome time to be into mini bikes right now. And it's a beautiful day we're out riding. So final thing we need to do, find a hill climb, see how these bikes do. We're airing down for the rocky terrain. I'm letting some air out of the front and rear tires and also adjusting the, uh, the air adjust shocks that we got back here. There's an old uh, like OHV sticker for like going off road and it says, don't be a clown, air down. Smart. <laughs> so we're gonna crank up and find a hill climb section. But I haven't ridden this yet, and Ike has never ridden a hurricane. Nope. So we're gonna do a good old swap seat and see what we think. Alright. So I like much lower seating position on this one, I really love it. Yeah, I, I like the hurricane because it's missing two letters. 14% 14, 14 battery life. 1776. <laughs> America. The year I was born. 1776, yeah. Oh, yeah. The big sprocket is the way to go. Yeah, this sucker's got two. Oh, this is, this is like a cow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, we even got a tack on this one. Oh, oh man. man. Yeah, this one screams race bike, boys. Yes, it does. Cars, dude, I can tell. They're freaking cars. That's cool. Yeah, uh, these don't. <laughs> yeah, those they, Yeah, these don't have side bike. Ooh, and I have reserve power. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's a, that, was, rock. that was a that was a doozy, Ike. I thought I was gonna get you. Yeah. I'm glad you're okay. Sweet. All right. Uh, Woo, that is gnarly. John, you gonna ride that or am I? I was doing pretty good. Chain came off. You neutraled it. Yeah. It's a 4L60. All right, on your mark. Get set. Go. Okay. Hold on. On your mark. Get set. Go.
The gear's too tall, it's not gonna do it. We'll try the next one. On your mark, get set, go! This thing suffers from altitude sickness. Altitude sickness. Yeah. <laughs> let me uh. One let more me, shot. Let me get one more shot. This, this thing still suffers from altitude sickness. And uh, that gear is a little small, but you know, uh, not too bad. This thing is more for uh, top speed or flat land and fast than, and a hill climb. than a hill climb. So I don't think it was too bad. No, you did it in about 20 seconds. It was just a few seconds slower than the, uh, than the low bike, surprisingly. With well, the low bike's got the big sprocket, it's, and sometimes that's all you need is a gearing advantage. Yeah, cool. So let's head to the bottom and uh, we'll give our final thoughts. All right, so our camera battery died before we could get the low bike up the hill, but it was just insane to see the comparison between uh, two trail masters, both with stage one kits, and one with the 60 tooth sprocket, and one with the standard smaller sprocket. I think that. The big takeaway of this episode is that I'm going to be putting a 62 sprocket on every single trail riding mini bike because it's all upsides and no downsides. You saw it in the drag race. You saw it in a bit of the climbing. It's just uh, it's just a blanket upgrade. The Megamoto, I cannot wait to get our hands on the full suspension Megamoto, especially with those 10-inch wheels. That bike is a beast. Uh, of course, I'm going to be linking all these parts and bikes in the description. There's a lot going on. Uh, this was a ton of fun. Of course, your bike is going to perform a lot better than this at sea level uh, if you have one of these uh, at 8,000, 9,000 feet of elevation. We were struggling and the bikes were struggling the whole time. So uh, that being said, we have another video coming out from this trip. We took a MTD mini bike from like 40 or 50 years old and we took it on this pass here. It was gnarly. Uh, so be sure to check that out coming up very soon here on Cars and Cameras. We have to thank Go Power Sports for having us along to Colorado. It was a ton of fun to go hang out with them every year. They've been a big supporter of us for a long time and it's a lot of fun to, uh, to go on these trips. But of course, anytime you're buying uh, parts for your mini bike or go-kart, be sure to check out gopowersports.com. Not only do they have competitive pricing, but they also have the support that goes with it. So if you have an issue with fitment on your build, you call them up, they have support. If you buy some on eBay, that's not going to happen. Uh, so anyway, thank you all for watching. Uh, Cars-cameras.com. Check out our merchandise. We will catch you next time. What's up, Charles? Oh, we got to be a little. We got to be a little bit safer this time. Uh, after the spill last year, I got. I had a really close call. Almost broke my arm. So we're going above and beyond on the safety gear. Full safety gear.